Well, I think tardive dyskinesia is one area that maybe a lot of payers aren't thinking about right now. Right now, there are two drugs that are pending approval for tardive dyskinesia. The first drug, Ingreza, is expected to be approved next month. Um, so this is a condition where there's abnormal repetitive movements, and right now there's nothing approved to treat these patients. It can be caused from high doses of dopamine um, blocking agents and other you know, chronic use of these medications. And there's about 500,000 patients in the U.S. that have tardive dyskinesia. Right now, xenazine is sometimes used off-label. That's a three times daily medication. It's only approved for Huntington's disease chorea, so that's an orphan condition. Um, Xenazine can cause depression and suicidal ideation, so there are a lot of safety concerns with it. But there are two drugs, like I said, that are going to be approved this year for tardive dyskinesia, which affects 500,000 patients in the U.S. So, like I said, Ingreza will be the first one that's once daily, and that's um, expected to be approved April 11th. And then Ostido. Now, this is a medication that's initially going to be approved maybe Monday um, for Huntington's disease chorea, that orphan condition, um, but it is pending approval for tardive dyskinesia as well. So that expanded indication could occur sometime in August of this year. So we'll have two new drugs for tardive dyskinesia, large patient population. It'll be interesting to see how much these medications cost. Right now for Huntington's disease, um, Xenazine is about $150,000 per year. But you know, as the population broadens significantly with these two new medications, you know, it'll just be interesting to see how they're priced. So those are important ones to watch.